Hey everybody, it's Chrissy. I wanted to go over um, different species of feldspars with you today, including a lot of moonstone and opalite. There's a lot of confusion about what's on the market, what's real, what's not, so I'm going to help you out with this and hopefully this video will give you some insight so that you know what you're looking at when you're doing online shopping um, or shopping in person, wherever you're doing your shopping, so that you're better informed. Um, Everything on this table, except for this, is in the feldspar group. This is opalite. We're going to get to that. Um, and the feldspar group has a lot of different stones in it. And the most common one, you'll see, is labradorite. And you will know this as the Aurora Borealis stone. If you look at it, you can see why. It's from the Labrador region of Canada. It's probably mined some other places. I don't know off the top of my head. That sheen, that natural sheen in labradorite, is called agilorescence. So, it's in the feldspar group, and the species is labradorite. Now, when we get to rainbow moonstone, rainbow moonstone is also known as white labradorite. It is also in the labradorite species and you can see it has the same type of sheen in it. And these are all natural, no enhancements, anything like that. So this is rainbow moonstone, also known as white labradorite, also just known as moonstone, but all feldspars. Now the eggs I have up here are also rainbow moonstone, but the black in them is tourmaline inclusions and this is all natural. I don't know if I can pick up some of the agilorescence in these. I have to look at my cheat sheet which is taped to my leg over here to remember how to pronounce that darn word. Um, you guys don't think I actually remember all this off the top of my head do you? Because I don't. Um, if you can look it up, don't save it in your brain. So anyway, this is also rainbow moonstone with tourmaline inclusions in it. That's completely natural also feldspar group. Now we have sunstone is in the feldspar group, but the species that it is is called oligoclase. And yeah, I had to look at my leg for that one again too. Now it has a flash in it, but it's a different kind of flash than what you will see in labradorite. The flash is called Schiller. And I'm trying to turn these so maybe you can see it. It looks like little tiny sparkles in the stone. It's all natural and really, really beautiful. There's some. You can see it. So, that's another feldspar. Now over here we have regular moonstone. Oh, one of my eggs is traveling. Regular moonstone, it's in the feldspar family, but it doesn't have the sheen. It's the orthoclase species of feldspar. And it has, this is a creamy version, it has all these lines in it. This is just plain old moonstone. It looks kind of like mother of pearl. I actually didn't even realize that until now, just looking at it. So this is plain moonstone, and this is plain moonstone. That's a peach variety. Uh, it doesn't look that peachy in my hand because this camera's going to pick up a lot of light, but these are raw peach moonstone stones. So, also feldspars, but the plain old moonstone is a Lego not a ligoclase, orthoclase. Heat sheet is apparently not big enough for my eyes to reach. Um, all right, then we have opalite. Now, I'm putting this in here because, you know, I do a post on Facebook about moonstone, and people start putting up pictures of their beautiful moonstone pieces, and they've been putting up pictures of stuff that's clearly opalite, and I don't have the heart to tell these people that what they have is not moonstone, it's opalite. Opalite is man-made, and it's a glass. I don't know how they get the sheen in it. Whoop, dropped one. Um, but it's being passed off as moonstone, as rainbow moonstone, as Sri Lanka moonstone. If you look on eBay, stuff coming out of China, China sold as moonstone. It's opalite. It's man-made. It is absolutely nothing to do with your real rainbow moonstone other than they look kind of alike 
and when you look at real rainbow moonstone, you'll see the little lines and natural inclusions and stuff in it. Opalite is clear, except it might have some bubbles. So you can see right through it to the other side of my hand on these. So, and I sell opalite. I mean, it's fine. It's also being passed off as opal. It's not opal. It's fine if someone buys it. That's no problem. I mean, what's it matter if someone wants to wear glass or a gemstone? You know, some of you are diehard gemstone junkies that have to have a natural natural gemstone, but there's nothing wrong with going out and wearing a pretty piece of glass around your neck. You know, it is pretty. Buy it if you like it. Nothing wrong with it. It's cheap. I'll give you that. Um, but if somebody is selling it to you, opalite to you, and telling you it's moonstone, they're um, full of BS, to be quite frank. So I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to tell you it's I'm selling you opalite, and it's opalite. So anyway, hopefully that will help you with your shopping experiences. Ideally, all of them at Earthogy and nowhere else, because I wouldn't want any of you to cheat on me. But um. Go home and look at your Labradorite and your Moonstone and take a good look at it and maybe this will help you see what you have. And hopefully you've got the good stuff, the real stuff.